Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm going to have a play with my new etc book that I got for a bargain price of £2, two Scottish pounds. I'm really pleased with this book. I did a haul video the other day and I shared this book and everyone seems quite taken with it so I thought I would pull out some pages and make a concertina junk journal much like the one I did for junk journal July um, although for this one um, it was very uh, grungy and it was all different papers and there, there wasn't exact sizes on the pages and um, and I do love it and it's great that you know it opens this way it opens this way and um, and I thought I want to do another concertina journal for my kind of own personal daily, weekly journaling. So, uh, along the lines of this, but keeping a much neater look if is what is in my head. Um, because I've got this one and I've already got this grungy, really grungy, junky one, which is very all over the place and so I wanted something just a little bit um, neater I suppose <laughs> but still very junky looking so that's the plan so I think um, I'll start by tearing out uh, a few of the pages I'm just going to tear a few out at random um, just to use I want to try and keep the pages as I'm going to just trim off this edge I think but I want to keep them as uh, this, as much of a size that, um, that I can this one coming out that one doesn't want to come out and I want to keep there's some work going on our neighbour, I think, is getting a new boiler put in, so I apologise if you can hear the the hammering and the the um, the drilling. It's um, this one, maybe. Yeah. Oh, lost a little bit there. Need to take my time. Slow up. Some of them are going to be easier to come out than others. Right, how many of that? I think that'll do us just now. Let's put the book, oh it's quite a weight, over there. And let's trim off these edges. Just straighten up these edges, I think. Oh my goodness, can you hear that, Shelly? I wish I had known they were going to start doing that. Right, this probably be able to cut this. Through these pages. All at once, yep. Oh, yep, yep, that we're fine. We got all the messy bits off. All in one go. Okay. So now let me think. I want to keep them the correct way up. I want to keep the images in the writing the correct way. I know I could do it that way and have things sideways but I do want to keep them and I don't mind that it's going to turn out a little bit smaller. Right I think we're going to half. I think we'll half them. 
So let's see how much. So it's 26 centimetres tall, okay, long ways. So let's cut them down in half to 13. Let's get this accurate. 13. Yeah. 13. So I will cut the whoops. Cut this at 13 and that'll give us double the amount of pages. Okay. Right, now let's think, we want to make a concertina, so we need a flap. The last time I did this, I got very confused. <laughs> I didn't know whether I was coming or going. But since then, I have bought one of these little babies. A scoreboard. It's a score easy. It's a centimetre one. I know they come in inches. Um, and I am going to make my join at one centimetre. So that's the little fold where the join's going to be. And then we're going to fold our page. So that's going to be glued on to the next page. So I want to fold this in half up to the joint, up to where that fold is. Yeah. So that is where I'm going to join. Yeah. Let me do another one and then I can show you how we join them. So we've got that. We're scoring it at... Oh, what a racket! Scoring it at one centimetre. Of course, if you don't have a scoreboard, and I've only had this since yesterday, um, then, you know, you just you just fold it and use your bone folder or just the handle of your scissors or whatever. Um, I was just... thought this... I had seen these getting used so many times and I thought, you know, I'm going to need one of them. Right, and so then this just, so we've got that little fold that we folded over. And this just, gets it, that's what becomes your hinge. Yeah. Once that's glued on, that makes your concertina. Yeah. So we can carry on and we can do the folds. So we butt it in, we do a centimetre, fold that in and then turn it over and fold that in half, still keeping that folded over because that's your hinge and we don't want to fold and not take account of where the hinge is. So that's how it should look. Yeah. Right. And one centimetre there. I have to say this scoreboard is making a big difference because up to now I would be holding it and and doing this and folding either end and getting into a right old girdle and then fold in half there I wonder how long that works I don't know how long it takes to put in a new boiler I know it's a new boiler because I was standing at the kitchen window being nosy and I saw the two vans out there, but it's not the gas board vans, so it's a private company that's putting the new boiler in. I thought, oh, I wonder what's happening. And then I saw a big boiler.
box getting taken in and some plumbing type stuff. And now, of course, there's a big clue because the old boiler is lying out the front garden. <laughs> so that's a bit of a clue. So I think all the drilling and all the hammering now is just getting the new boiler put in. Poor Molly, she's, uh, she's taking herself off onto the sofa. <coughs> Excuse me, under a bundle of cushions hiding. Oh my goodness, that's quite a racket. And a centimetre. And there's just two to go. You'll be pleased to know. Look at these images on these. Aren't they just... It's a beautiful book. For this sort of thing. I dare say it was on display in someone's house for a while till they got fed up of it and then handed it in to the charity shop. This one's got a bit, I'm going to make that side the hinge and then that bit will get hidden. That's a good idea, isn't it? Because I can reinforce these hinges with washi tape or something or a piece of nice paper because I'll be decorating these pages I'm not just going to leave them right so that's all well well done scoreboard that was its maiden outing <laughs> right now we need to stick all these together and make our concertina so Right, now, how are we going to glue these? Let me think. Like that. So we're going to sit the one with the hinge there and then glue that like that. I think that's the plan. So let's use a piece of this old magazine. And I've just got my glue stick and I just want to glue that now wait a minute nope that's no I want to glue the I want to glue I want to glue the inside okay that was a little mistake not to worry that's the glue off we want to glue the ends, or do we? We can glue the... Oh, we'll glue the outside. Yeah, we'll glue the outside. That makes it easier, rather than trying not to get glue on the on that bit in there. So, let's glue the outside. And then we stick that one on. Let's not glue it to the magazine. Right, so, yes, and we want this onto here, like that, that's it. Crisis averted. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another one. Let's not make a mistake this time. <laughs> so, we're gluing. We're just putting this magazine in to protect because it's just a centimetre and I don't want to get glue on this piece. So I'm just popping my magazine in, protecting that piece of page, glue onto the hinge, grab the next page, we can take that out now, lift up, that hinge has got glue on it, 
and we are just going to join on our next page which is the opposite side of you're, you're gluing on the plain side rather than the hinge side because that hinges for the next page so we're going to glue it on to here like that yeah there we are and we'll just double check that everything's yep everything's all right so again I'm just going to protect that page with the magazine. There's our hinge. And the next one, I'm just doing these totally random. So we'll open it up, the non-hinge side. And gluing it on to that hinge. There. Here. Here we are. Okay, we can do this next one. Looking good so far. And you can see that you can open it this way and then open it this way. Magic. Okay, we'll do one more and then I'll scoot off and glue the rest. And hopefully the work up the stairs will start to get a little bit quiet. Don't know how much drilling needs to be. Fingers crossed. Oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. It's going a little bit squinty. Why is that? We can just straighten that up. That's fine. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go and do the last four pages. So they're all stuck down and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Um, you get some random pages where the, the join is, but it somehow all just looks quite cohesive because it's all uh, from the book, the same sort of colour palette. And um, yeah, I like how some pages have got the the, the font, the print, um, and some have, <laughs> there's definitely no logic to this. That was just by chance. That's ended up there. I quite like that. Um, and, and, and yeah, happy with that. Haven't, so you'll end up with a little loose, um, obviously on the last page for the next. You can either leave that uh, so that you can add more pages um, but obviously you'll have all these pages plus you'll have all the pages on the other uh, there's, there's definitely no logic another place um, you'll have all the pages on the other side as well because it's look at how cool is that um, because it's a concertina you have double the space so you might decide just to trim that off um, if you think you've got plenty pages, you could use it to attach a thicker, um, more sturdy cover if you wanted a cover. 
Um, I'm going to leave it just now, see how it goes. Um, I think I might, I will probably put a cover on it. So I'm going to leave it and I'm just going to leave that first page and I'm just going to start um, just randomly sticking some things down. Um, although these pages are nice the way they are, they're, they're, I just want them to be background and, um, and, and slide into the background. So I want to start, I have my box of tiny snippets. I have a little thing of, I think these are kind, they're not stickers, but they're little vellum sheets, little tiny pieces of vellum with patterns on them that I thought might tone in quite well with the colours. Um, I have my washi that tones in with the colours and another bowl of washi here. My favourites. These are the bowl of favourites. <laughs> um, and I have my tray of bigger snippets. So I'm hopeful that amongst all of this there is enough. I also have a little basket of ephemera. Uh, which I think will go quite nicely. In fact, let's pick out some of this while we're here. This is the best bit, isn't it? Going for a rummage. Going for a rummage and... Uh, some of it actually looks like it's come from this book. It's very similar. Um, don't ask me where I got all this stuff off from because it's all from various places that... Uh, and then I just stuck it all... Stuck it all in here in a box so that I can have a good old look through. That's Christmas. <laughs> oh, Christmas. Oh, golly. Won't be long. Ah, yeah. That's a cool little tag. I might put some pockets in this. We'll see. There's another little thing. Right. Maybe we'll just leave that there. There's plenty to be going on with, I think. Yeah. Right. Those things have fallen down the side there. Okay. So, we've picked out what have we got? Oh yeah, I like this, this coffee cup thing, quite like that. Now, bear in mind I want to put some journaling space in this because this is going to be used as, um, as my journal. So I want to get, let me see. Right, so there's quite a lot of plain, plainish paper here, so that I can get some journaling spots before we go mad on the decoration. <laughs> so maybe... down from that corner I think. I don't need a huge amount of writing space but I do want I do want some that's um that I can jot down a few notes, a few daily notes that might be 
quite good to to look back on. I'm wondering if I should put some washi down that. That's got a little a little fragile where I've joined that seam. It'll be fine, I think. Now, what have we got that's... I think this is going to be too big for there. This little ticket here. on the top piece of washi maybe down here yep let's see if we can bring the black in a little bit we'll just bit on top of that. I quite like doing that with washi, layer it up. Another piece here. Cool. I'm not sure about that ticket. Um, right, this. Oh, I think it's better there. I think I'm just going to get that down. Right, I've got my magazine here. And I think this is just a piece of dyed copy paper left over from another project. And we can just see that peeking through that background. Yeah, that's cool. And a piece here. Maybe use a different colour. Edge to be a little bit straighter. Yeah. 
Let me just see that washi peeking down there. So maybe put another little thin piece. <laughs> Too thin. Running out of fingers. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, that layers that up nicely. And so I've got journaling space here and here. And maybe, what can we put on? I don't want to cover my journaling space, but it's hard for me to think where to put something. You know, I think I'm just going to leave that page just now journaling spots here and if I want more decoration I can do that right something here I think a piece of map yeah that's cool have a little leftover piece journal down actually on this page so I could I could journal down here and I think I might put a butterfly on top because that's butterflies there see that I think let me get the butterflies out Oh. A nice butterfly for here. It's quite big. anything too brightly coloured. That one's quite good. Oh, that one's good. You know what I'm finding? That I've got all these butterflies with their wings closed. <sighs> because I don't use them for some reason. And that's the ones I've got. I'm going to end up with lots of them left. That one's a little bit... Oh, that's a brighter colour. It seems to tone in better. I think we'll put that one there. Butterfly tree. Let me just check the black and white ones. That's too big. Do 
Trübeck. No, I'm still liking this. It's a big decision. <laughs> right, butterflies over there. Right, about there. So I'm just adding a few things to some of the pages um, so that it gives me a start for when I come to the page and I want to do something on a, a day when I want to write it up then it will have something to get me started. Yeah, I think this needs, this will definitely need something more but this is pretty cool. Oh, and there's already a journaling spot here, so let's just decorate this bit up. And that's a plain spot there, so we could put something over here. Definitely this, I think. Maybe this. I'm determined to use this coffee. Mm -hmm. What about one of these? Oh, that's cool. Because there's butterflies over here. Now I wonder if I put a blob of glue it will show through, what do you think? What should we stick that down with? Let's just try a little bit in the middle, just to see. Yeah, I think we're alright. I don't mind it not being stuck all the way around. Yep. Oh, wonder what else is good for in here. Oh, there's the hammering started again. I think we'll put that on top there. This is going to curl up a wee bit because it's not glued down properly. I wonder if that's a sticker. It feels like it might be a sticker. Yep. Good, good. And maybe a little bit. What have we got? Do you find it hard to find the ends? <laughs> Huh. Take that scrunchy bit off. Oh, yes. And I'm maybe another little bit up here. Here we are. Yes, I like that page. Maybe do one more. So, 
by chance there seems to be spaces on a lot of the pages that I can write on so that's good and we've added on the page where there was none we've added some spots so yeah we've done that page let's see quite like this here what else have I got I've got the other half of this map Well, there's Millie up now, which is what's all this noise. Oh, I don't know what she's doing. Maybe put that up there. Quite like that there. I think this will be the last page I'll do today. Just pop that there. And we will pop that up there. I wonder if this is a sticker. Feels like a sticker. Yep. Sometimes it's hard, <laughs> hard to know what's stickers and what's not. Oh, I like that. That blends into the page quite nicely. And let's put let's put some of this one on this. No. No. Let's do let's do this. Crunchy bit for down here. There. And I think it maybe needs another flowery thing. Let's see. Let's see what the flower. Well, let's see what the flower tree holds. Nothing too bright. A bird? No. What about these berries? These berries are quite nice. Let's take this garden flowers. You have to be very careful with these ones, they tear really easily. Oh yeah, can you see? 
<laughs> yep, liking that. And there's journaling spot here. I don't know if I'm going to have to stick that down better. I don't mind it being a little bit loose. Um, so we've put some stickers on here and some washi. And there's a journaling spot there. And we can do around here. We've decorated this a bit. And we added some journaling paper onto here. Um, but I think this needs something else. But we'll do that another day. Oh, and here's Millie. Time for a walk. Hey, pal. Okay, back from a walk. And I've had a little play in the journal. And I just thought I would pop back on and um, show you what I did. For the first few pages just to get an idea of how I'm going to use this little journal. So on the first page remember we stuck down some uh, wrapping paper, some, some of the packaging paper and I had two receipts from the places that we went to uh, that day and um, I've stuck in this shop which was a kind of um, the, the one of those fancy shops, interior design places that sells fabric and f very expensive wallpaper and, and nice cushions and things made up all to order. But I went in for a nosy and they had a little stand with, um, with the fancy expensive. But I treated myself this empty washi, but you get loads in a row. So, uh, so I thought I would just stick two bits down of the new washi that I got in um, in Bluebell Grey. So, and that was the first time that we had been to that coffee shop, so I just wanted to record that. Um, and then the next page, um, again, a first time to this place, uh, which is about an hour away in Irvine. So I just wanted to record a little bit of what we did there. And I added, remember, we had already put this on and we had already covered the background a little bit. So I added a couple of stickers and a piece of the receipt. Receipts are good, I think, because it just adds a little bit of um, ephemera that is, is actually real ephemera from that day. So, and it just reminds you of, of where you went. And this page uh, is, is just to um, record the day that it, the, the, the heavens opened um, and we decided to stay local because we knew that it was going to rain but um, but we managed to get our coffee outside and they've got a canopy and then the heavens just opened and we had to stand here for about 10 minutes and it was just absolutely bouncing off the streets and um, yeah and then it eventually just eased off enough that we could make a dive for the car so yeah, so that's what I'm going to um, to be doing in this little journal. Just little snippets of memories and reminders of what we did on, on days. And I've used my date stamp just to put a little date stamp on, um, just to remind us that, that that's the day that that happened. And I used my new letter stamps to stamp out these um, these words I showed you that in my haul video so so yeah so I'm going to be enjoying adding things as and when to this little journal I'll have to think about what to do with the cover and um, and yeah so thanks for joining me today and um, I hope you quite enjoyed that and if you did a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time take care bye for now